Hi guys, welcome back to Ashley's Story Blog. It has been a while since I've been on here, but I wanted to come to you um, just to lighten your spirits during these crazy times and just to have us remember who we belong to and um, God's power in our life. And this book I'm gonna read today is called The Touch of the Master's Hand. I love this story. Um, I read this on a bookmark a long time ago and fell in love with it. This book is by Mira Brooks Welch and the illustrations are by Greg Newbold. If you're a violin player too, it's even more special because you know an instrument can be just played so beautifully by someone who knows how to play. was battered and scarred and the auctioneer thought it scarcely worth his while to waste much time on the old violin but he held it up with a smile what am i bidden good folks he cried who will start the bidding for me a dollar a dollar then two only two two dollars and who will make it three Three dollars once, three dollars twice, going for three, but no. From the room far back, a gray-haired man came forward and picked up the bow. Then wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening the loose strings, he played a melody pure and sweet as a caroling angel sings. The music ceased and the auctioneer with a voice that was quiet and low said, what am I bid for the old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars and who will make it two? Two thousand and who will make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice and going, going gone, said he. The people cheered, but some of them cried. We don't quite understand what change it's worth. Swift came the reply. The touch of the master's hand. And many a man with life out of tune and battered and scarred with sin is auctioned cheap to the thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He's going once, he's going twice, he's going and almost gone. But the master comes and the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that's wrought by the touch of a master's hand. I hope you guys have a great day.